Uh, Delano, a strong result, but not the one that they wanted. So what went wrong in terms of the party's strategy? Good afternoon. A lot went wrong for Marine Le Pen, but let's not underestimate the scale of her vote share. She managed to increase it by close to 10 percentage points uh, from uh, the election in 2017. Back then, she took home 33 percent of the vote share. Last night, 41.5 percent. So a sizable chunk of the French population voted uh, for Marine Le Pen. And uh, officials here are content with that at, at her uh, official campaign headquarters, where they realize that she if she manages to keep increasing the vote share by 10 points each election, the 2027 election is for them to take, essentially. So and also another problem uh, during the camp... Sorry to interrupt you there. But during the campaign, we, what we saw is a softened Marine Le Pen. But she was only softened when we compared her to the far right's Eric Zemmour. Once he was out of the picture, we really started to focus on a lot of her policies, policies like banning the, the hijab on day one after becoming president, as well as her economic policies. Plus, we had that debate last Wednesday where she didn't score any points with voters sitting on the fence. Um, uh, we really had Emmanuel Macron, the president, who really dug into her went on her economic policies and he schooled her on how economic policies really work. Plus, we also had him tell her that her plan to ban the, the hijab uh, would, would create a civil war in France. So, as you pointed out there, Delano, 2027 now looks like well within reach for the far-right political movement. So, what are they thinking of in terms of their immediate priorities? I imagine they're turning their attention to the parliamentary elections, which are just six weeks away. That's right. Uh, Marine Le Pen has actually arrived uh, here just a couple of minutes ago. And as you, you rightly pointed out, if anyone thinks she's going to be sailing off into the sunset, they're sorely mistaken. They're clearly shifting their focus to those uh, parliamentary elections because, let's not forget, she did manage to take home 41.5% uh, of the vote share. Uh, Emmanuel Macron, on the other hand, took home uh, over 50% of the vote share. But he acknowledged uh, in, his con in his victory speech last night that not everyone who voted for him voted... Uh, for him as president, but they voted for him to keep her uh, from uh, getting the country's top job. And she, in her concession speech, acknowledged the fact that these unfair practices, what she called this Republican front, uh, has kept her uh, from the presidency. So they're going to shift their focus now on those legislative elections in June. This, The National Rally acknowledges that they are the main party, the main opposition here in France, especially after we saw the, the traditional left, traditional right decimated uh, in the first round of the vote. Delano D'Souza reporting there from the National Rally headquarters. Thank you.